What to do if your loved one is experiencing difficulty breathing? We understand that it can be very distressing for both you and your loved one when they are experiencing difficulty breathing. One of the most important goals of our care team is to train you and your loved one to understand what to look for and what can be done to bring your loved one comfort. Shortness of breath, which we call dyspnea, is a personal experience for each person, but is often described as not getting enough air, difficulty catching your breath, and a feeling there's not enough air in the room. It may stop you from doing what you want to do, cause you or your loved one fear, anxiety, nervousness, or restlessness. Your care team wants to know when you or your loved one are experiencing these symptoms and when there's a bluish discoloration around your face, primarily around the mouth, ears, nose, fingers, or toes. The good news is that there's much you, your caregiver, and your care team can do to provide comfort when short of breath. Your care team will always try to find out the cause and discuss treatment options with you and your caregiver. Some things that may be beneficial are sitting in a chair or recliner. When in bed, elevate your head on pillows, never lie flat. Practice pursed lip breathing technique by taking slow, deep breaths breathing in through your nose and then breathing out slowly and gently through pursed lips. Lips that are puckered as if you were going to whistle. I'd like to demonstrate that. Cool your room by lowering the air conditioner and increase air movement by using a small fan. Use oxygen and medications as directed by your care team and as always, we are available to help and train you 24 hours a day. If shortness of breath is not relieved or gets worse, please contact our 24-7 patient priority line at 772-403-4500.